Okay, if you listen closely in the background, you will hear shooting. Wait for it. Wait for it. There's one. We're about to go shooting in Trump country. The last time I did a road trip like this across the country was 2012, where I soon after moved out of the US and never moved back. Now I'm here 11 years later in 2023 and doing it again. We are starting our journey in the town of Falling Waters, West Virginia, where we will take a straight shoot, seven hour drive south to Tennessee. First, let's see what West Virginia has on offer besides gun ranges. So this is what we do to get free accommodation. Say hello to, okay, I'm gonna get this right. Ladybug. Jax. And? Ta-da. Plus two cats. Plus two cats, which we don't know where they went, but. It's basically border town, West Virginia, called Falling Waters. I guess there's a waterfall here. And we're staying here until Sunday, so we're staying here like six nights. And it's actually really cute. It is a little bit of a Trumpville, but the house we're staying in doesn't have any signs of Trump, so. This part of West Virginia straddles the border of Maryland and Pennsylvania. Because we were there for almost a week, we crossed into Maryland and back over to West Virginia a lot. This area took the brunt of the bloodshed during the Civil War with some of the bloodiest battles of the North taking place right here, nearby in Gettysburg, or this one here in Antietam. Okay, so where are we with your circuit festival shirt? We are on a battlefield of Antietam battle, which was one of the most important battles during the Civil War, and it was uh, the bloodiest. Was it the bloodiest? That's why this street is called oh Bloody Lane. But there's a massive bug on you. Today this area is mostly just overrun by weird tourists like us and a weird invasive species. So many that they encourage the population to actually kill them. It's called the Spotted Lanternfly. First discovered in Pennsylvania in 2014. Oh, you're taking a video. <laughs> While only an hour or so from DC and Baltimore, there are plenty of small town vibes here. Sheets Creek. Yeah, we're in a town called we're in a town called Williamsport, but there's a Sheets, and this place reminds us of Sheets Creek, so it's perfect. The street and then down the street. We're waiting for an aircut. I feel like I'm ready for a starting in an episode of Sheets Creek <laughs> with his haircut. Oh yeah, our haircuts are good. We kind of look homage. No, it's not that bad. Is it? I think we just need to style Not it that ourselves. bad, but... So this is Fabio's first time having um, Dum Dum Lollipops. I told him to get the mystery ones. Let's see what's inside. I think it's watermelon. This is very sweet. Strawberry. I like it. Yeah. What do you think of Dum Dums? Dum -dums. These, were like, these were like the staple of our childhood. It's, uh... Like caramel. Yeah. Good. We're starting our road trip. Do you remember her? <laughs> That's Mariette Rob. Later that week, our friend Mariette from Berlin joined us on the road trip. We already did a road trip with her down the garden route in South Africa, so now it was time to take on the US. Okay, and if you look in front of you, you're going to see a amazing sight, a Trump sign and a Mexican flag and what looks like a constructed border, border wall. So, so. It's known for being very much Trump country. In 2020, Trump received 68.62% of the votes here, so he won by a landslide. We're about to go shooting in Trump country. Yeah, that's a child you just heard, learning at the ripe age of six to shoot a gun. We had to cleanse our souls a little after the gun shooting, so we did whatever wholesome activities were happening around the area. All right, so it's time for apple picking adventure. Very spontaneous post apocalyptic gun range choice of activity to do. What were these called? The York apples? Yeah, York. 
I felt like Fabio and Mariette needed to get a taste of Amish life if they were only going to be in the Northeast for one more day, so we headed to one of the many suburbanly placed Amish markets in Maryland, just like the one I had in New Jersey growing up. We are in the R and M market. And what did you get? I had some uh, meatballs, got some fried chicken. A lot of mac and cheese. Yeah, it looks really good. It's taping Fabio, but going in the background. You look good. What are they? Freeze dried skittles. Freeze dried skittles. Freeze dried Jolly Ranchers. What? That's what happens to Jolly Ranchers when you freeze dry them? Where are we going? Back quick. Where are we going? We don't know. We are in Virginia, the land of lovers. Yeah, the land of lovers. And we're just gonna drive on through here to Tennessee. That's our first stop. One of the things that caught my eye since the last time I was here was the sheer number of American flags and massive American flags at that, flying proudly in the wind. It felt weird transposing this to a country like Germany where patriotism is anything but present, but apparently 41% of people here believe America is greater than any other country. The world's biggest American flag floating in the wind. With all its glory. Some other crazy things are just like the number of chains clogging up the motorways. In case you don't like Denny's, you have Popeyes. In case you don't like that, you have Wendy's. In case you don't like Wendy's, you have KFC. Taco Bell's behind us. This is the first time that Marriott and Fabio have been to Walmart, so. They're absolutely, positively thrilled, whereas I'm like, cool, it's like my least favorite place in the entire world, but let's see if it meets their expectations of the best place ever. <laughs> Finally, around twilight, after nearly 500 miles, we rolled on into the Great Smoky Mountains of Tennessee. Some Smoky Mountain fun facts, there are more than 4,000 plants in the Smoky Mountains and it's the most visited national park in all of the U.S. Less Dolly Parton, hers truly, is from this area. This is our new Airstream. Good morning from the Airstream. There's Mariette. Let's show you the place. Say hello. <laughs> we got a little like coffee station here. I love this color green too. I think it's my new favorite color green. And then we have Fabio. Ah! And a little toaster. Bite size. It's like the little like easy bake oven from childhood. Yes. Cute. Can you get used to this Airstream life? <laughs> yeah. So we are off to Dollywood today. This is, I guess, Marriott's dream and probably Fabio's dream too. Me, I never even knew about it before they mentioned it. So let's see how it is. Apparently it's good food, good rides, and it's a Monday morning. So hopefully not a lot of people. The world's biggest pumpkins. Yeah, Andy, look at Andy. 1,074 pounds.
do it again. Some other Tennessee facts, there are about 1,500 bears in the Smoky Mountains. And even though weed isn't actually legal in Tennessee yet, there's dispensaries everywhere, which I just don't understand. All right, so where are we, we are, going? We are changing the oil and we are going to Nashville. We're on no. the way to Nashville. But we'll stop in Knoxville because it's on the way. Yeah, so what did you think so far of Tennessee? The it's people... Uh, it's green, there are many trees, a lot of nature, people as a strong accent. Yeah, people have a strong accent. We Jalapeno cheddar, one fourth chicken, dark meat, one half a chicken mix, fried chicken tenders, fried catfish fillets, spare ribs, four bones, ham. Oh, hey Marriott. <laughs> hey Marriott. Marriott, say hi. We're at a general store, but it's also a little fountain restaurant. Mm -hmm. How's the tater tots? <laughs> it's so cute. One tater tot? Yeah. Oh, that's me. Okay, you got me. Oh, that's an onion ring, actually. Is it? Yeah. Oh, you can This is your first time having an onion ring, right? This place oh, is so not cute. Not the first time, but like this, guys. <laughs> Beer, beer, beer. All right, lovely. So we're in Knoxville, looking hot. What are some facts about Knoxville? Everyone, name a fact. Population two hundred thousand. No, that's what I wanted. To say. Yeah. No, in fact, it's a very romantic city according to Amazon. Yeah. What does that mean, though? Like, yeah. Hearts, who, knows? who the fuck knows? And it's one of the fastest 10 growing cities in the United States. It's also known as the Marble City because of the granite marble situation all around the city. Because yeah. it was in the early 1900s, the center of marble distribution. And it's called Knoxville, <laughs> from Knox, which was the secretary of Washington. Yeah. It was Knox. That was his, uh, and name. Johnny Knoxville is from here. Yeah. What was his name again? Something like Philip John Glatt Jr. Something like that. Yeah. So, I mean, there's a lot going on in Knoxville, including beer. With Knoxville behind us, we're on our way to Nashville, but we'll wait until next episode to show you what it's all about. I've gone Southern. So if you like this episode, go ahead and subscribe and we'll see you the next time.